Yes. What inspired you to make this story? Yeah, so um, my writing partner and I both have um, kind of a long history with the border. When I was in college, I had started a, I went to school in Texas, grew up there, and I uh, started an organization because my college is only five hours from the border. I was a school called Texas A&M, and um, <laughs> uh, I, I was seeing if I'd get any whoops. Oh, did he do something? <laughs> did you do something? We don't even play each other anymore in sports, but it still <laughs> persists. Um, but just across the board, literally I-35 is a highway that runs from Michigan to Texas, and it ends in Mexico. And you go across this bridge, and you're in a completely different world just across this river. And uh, this group, we, we started taking college students down, and we would work in communities called Colonius, which are communities on the border that are essentially squatter communities where they're missing sort of basic necessities for human life, whether it's you know water, electricity, storage, or storage, shelter, and sewage. And, um, and really, it's a byproduct of the border conflict. A lot of people get stuck in limbo on these border towns and end up in these communities, and it just kind of blew us away. Um, and we'd try and find a way to kind of do community building work in these areas. And, you know, it wasn't completely altruistic. We, we did drink a lot of beer and eat a lot of tacos while we were there. But every time we'd come across the border, we'd go through these checkpoints, and a border patrol agent would lean in the window and ask if we were American citizens. And that was the extent of my relationship to border patrol. It was very one-dimensional. And I always knew I was gonna, if I made my first movie and when I made my first movie, I was going to do it surrounding the border. I never thought it would be about border patrol. But when I started looking into the agency, began to realize that it's, one, it's just fascinating. Uh, it's our nation's largest law enforcement agency, but I'd say it's least understood. And um, we started to go into the world of the desert and meet these agents and look past the symbol of the uniform and see who they were as human beings. And that's when it got interesting. And we spent four years researching uh, United States Border Patrol to bring you this film just in the, in the research alone.